Oh man, that feels good. Ah, uh, well, you could say I jumped into the last day of Pride Month. Woo! Oh yeah. Let me uh, we got a lot real fast. Ah. Uh. Okay, so real talk. I'm trying to adjust my chair a little bit here right now. Hold on, let me. There we go. I really thought about doing a backflip just now, but that's why you kind of saw me look at the camera with, in with like intensity. But that didn't occur to me. I've never done a backflip before in my entire life. And even though I know for a fact I'm going to land into water, I don't want to get hurt. So, uh, you got that sort of like, I kind of wanted to do it, but then I wind up not doing it. I regret nothing, though. I'm okay. I'm A-okay. Speaking of being A-okay, happy Sunday, everybody. And again, welcome to the last day of Pride Month. Got my sort of looking pride flag towel with me. Um, so, you know, it was funny. When I was doing my live vlog last night, I kind of thought about what video I wanted to do today. I got the towel on backwards. You got to see the, uh, the brighter colors up front because uh, that's what's more appealing. So I kind of had an idea of what I wanted today's video to be, but then it occurred to me, it's the last day of June. There's protocol to be taking place. Specifically, I have to talk about the month of June in retrospective. Get this on real fast. Okay. So. Put that down. Nope. Oh. oh dear. Let me, uh, behind those three boards. Okay. Sorry, just trying to adjust my uh, camera in preparation for this done. Son of a gun, can you work, please? Thank you. Okay, so. Well, I like how, I like how I look on camera right now. It's kind of cool. So, let me fix my hair. My hair looks uncouth at the moment. So, um. I guess if I had a low, it's, um, and I've talked about this in the past, and that's why I don't really complain about it too much. We finally took my mom to a place we even wanted to take her to, and she didn't really have a good time. But to be fair, there was like several things going on that kind of made it so. So I'm not too worried. In fact, overall, yesterday was a really great day. Um... My high is I got to see my nephews for the first time after about a week because after actually more than a week, like well, like a week and a half because uh, they came back from California like Friday I think or maybe Saturday. Point is they're home, they're safe. Spent time with them yesterday. That was awesome. Um, we had s'mores last night. That was really cool. And my act of kindness was, well, obviously watching, helping my parents watch my nephews. But also uh, helping make sure that everything was, uh, you know, okay for them. You know, making sure that, uh, help mom get groceries, all that good stuff. So, this is the last day of Pride Month. This is the last day of June. I'm shocked. I mean... 
a part of me thinks, oh, you know, there, there, there should be, like, this video is going to have plenty of pomp and circumstance, to be sure. But I kind of thought there'd be a little bit more. I mean, to be fair, though, I actually do have a really busy day today. There's an expo I'm going to in order to see a, fr a dear friend of mine. And Claudia Horser's playing over at the Sweats. Not to mention families coming up. Really, my brother, his wife, and, you know, my grandfather. I mean, every time I do one of these videos at the end of each month, you know, usually it's, again, nothing really significant happens. But I just told you what's happening today. A lot of things are going to happen. But it makes sense to talk about how this past month was on the last day of this past month. You know, again, retrospective. So, I mean, I'll be honest. All throughout the month of June, this was a great... Here's the thing. It's not that June was a bad month at all, not at all. In fact, it was great. I mean, again, best 11 months of my life. But I really did get worried over nothing. Full disclosure, there was a party that went on. I don't want to say what it was, but I didn't get an invite for it. But, I mean, listen, I'm sure there's a logical explanation as to why that was. And I'm not going to fret over too much anymore. Especially when, you know, later there was another party that I was invited to. Specifically, um, a certain gender reveal that happened, and, you know, it was awesome. Basically, I mean, listen, sometimes I really do get worried over nothing. I really do. But, like, it's, it's rare that it happens for, like, a really long period of time. Especially when, like... You know, this last week especially, I was busy every single day. Like, I had something going on every day of the week. You know, I had uh, appointments to go to, had work to do, had to make time to see my family. It was a lot. And now that I'm here, I'm actually kind of relieved that it's over. Because as the week went on, like, my stress levels kind of, like, reduced. And, you know, I felt more relaxed. And it's fitting that my last day in the month of June happens to be up here in the one place where I know for a fact I can relax the most. On a day as gorgeous as this. Seriously, this is a really pretty day out right now. Holy cow. It was weird. I saw like there was going to be like a 35% chance of rain. But it's going to be like in the morning, starting 8 o'clock. It is well past 8 o'clock right now, and nothing. Not to mention, like, including the stuff that's going to happen today. I mean, there was some plenty of good stuff that happened during the month of June. I just mentioned the the gender reveal I went to a week ago. I, went, I finally... Seriously, in terms of going to all the best places on Cuca Lake for a bite to eat, I've already pretty much nailed them all. I mean, there's a few places I haven't been to yet, but that's really because I got... Because you got to find the time to do it. Like, again, the Wagner, I go for breakfast, which it's kind of hard to get find time for. For that, man, or Bully Hill for lunch, again, find time for. Um, Let's see... The Valley Inn has the best wings on Cuca Lake, including Lakes, including Lakes. So yeah, Lakeside and Valley Inn, best place for wings. And I mean, here's the thing: you can only really get wings on Thursdays because they focus on the actual specials on Friday and Saturday. Friday, obviously, fish fry. Saturday, prime rib. Sunday, I'm sure there's like a barbecue or something, whatever. Point is, like, I don't know. I guess the Valley Inn's kind of like set in their ways, but I definitely do plan on getting their wings. At some point. I mean, theoretically, if it's open on Thursday, it would be a good opportunity to go try it. I say, if it's open on Thursday, because Thursday is 4th of July. In fact, no kidding, 
this will be, it'll be five years to the day where not only was it the first, was it the day I completed, I did my uh, mini series on my full course menu of life. It was day 550. But it was day 550, so 4th of July 2019. I talked about the main course in my full course menu of life, which also led me talking about libs for the first time on camera. Oh, and I also have video evidence of me conquering my fear of seaweed. So, yeah. Five years. It's crazy what's happened in that amount of time. But, for better or for worse, I'm here now. And, you know, we're deep in the threshold of summer right now. Technically, the days are going to start to get shorter, but it's going to be a while before anybody notices. We've had a lot of crazy weather. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll always rather have hot weather than cold weather, but this was the first time I think I'm like, do you think maybe we can turn down the heat just a little bit, please? Um. Oh, by the way, I've already, seriously, we are still in the month of June. And I've already seen at least three posts regarding, you know, fall stuff. I mean, listen, I like fall stuff as much as the next guy. In fact, the return of pumpkin spice very much pleases my inner white girl. But I'm not in that much of a hurry for it. I'd rather enjoy summer. Like right now. Where it's nice and warm. I can actually stand being outside in nothing but swim trunks. Um, yeah. It's just, I mean, just let summer be summer, guys. That's all I'm saying. So, what else happened in the month of June? Um, I mean, I did go see Clyde Hoyser at Lauren Tide a couple weeks ago. That was really cool. God, actually, I showed my parents uh, Claudia Hoyser too. So that was awesome. So, yeah, there, there was some good stuff that happened. I mean, we opened up our cottage and we've been using it a lot, you know, during obviously the weekends. I found time to, I mean, for the, except for a few weeks ago, I pretty much jumped in every lake video I've done. I mean, Honestly, I really wasn't sure how, I mean, keep in mind, unfortunately, when summer starts and when summer's just about to end, especially when we're up here, mornings just get so cold that I don't know if it's a good idea for me to, like, wear, you know, just my swim trunks and being all shirtless. Um, I mean, it's okay now. In fact, I almost going to let myself air dry it for, for right now, but... I mean, I don't really need to do that. I don't know. It's just... I mean, it's probably coming across I didn't really like the month of June, but that's actually not true. There was a lot of great things that happened in the month of June. In fact, again, this is the best 11 months of my life. I could explain who is responsible for that, but I'm sure if any of you guys are watching, you know exactly who you are. And, you know what, honestly, that does remind me. It was July 30th last year where I swear the course of my life changed forever. And I've been thinking of a way to properly thank those people who did in fact change everything. Seriously, like, these people have done more for me in the last year, 11 months even, than a lot of members, specifically on my mom's side of the family, have done over the course of my life. So, yeah. I'm, uh, uh to say I'm grateful is a huge understatement. So I've been trying to think of a way to repay him. And I know exactly how to do it. And it'll be on July 30th, 
when I do just that. So, literally one month from today. So, today's June 30th. Obviously, July 30th would be, you know, one full 30-day month. The problem is, that weekend, said people are having a party. And I'm not going to be able to go. Because that's when my family's in Colorado. Oh, trust me, my heart sinks so deep, it might as well have been to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. So, yeah, kind of, still kind of bumming about that, but I know what needs to be done. And I know what needs to be done today. So, for the last day of Pride Month, last day of June 2024, I know I'm going to be with my family. I know I'm going to be seeing my friend over in Hammondsport a little bit later this afternoon. I know I'm going to be seeing Claudio Hoiser later this evening. I am going to dance at the call out. You better believe I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be in for a good day. It'll be busy. It'll be exciting. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, when am I going to make pickles again? Because I really do want to do that again soon. But now I get, like, the bunch of stuff for it. But I'm going to get it done. Today is a day to, you know, celebrate, you know, just being, being alive today. Speaking of celebration, um... If you are a member of the Pride community and you're watching this video, from the bottom of my heart, I really hope you guys had a happy Pride Month. I hope June 2024 was everything you wanted to be and more in terms of celebrating who you are and who you feel on the inside. Because honestly, we don't really see enough of that anymore. Hell, I have a problem doing that myself sometimes. But it's only, and it's a shame that it's only one month out of the year. In fact, I mean, listen, even it's 2024, even now there's still problems of, of regarding like, you know, a person being ridiculed or even disowned in some cases for who they like and who they want to be with in life. And that's sad. But, you know, whether it's during Pride Month or not, know that, you know, you got an ally in here. Who has, seriously, who has two thumbs and wasn't remotely uncomfortable at all during Pride Month because he's an ally? This guy. So, everything's cool. Um, if you didn't celebrate Pride Month. I hope you had a great month of June. And you can still have a good month of June without having celebrated Pride Month. I mean, again, I'm just an ally. Pride Month doesn't really... Well, I mean, technically it does apply to me in the sense I am an ally. Therefore, I support everything the Pride community does. But I personally had nothing to celebrate. Outside of, you know, being glad for anyone who celebrated Pride Month. Sorry, I'm trying to think of what else I can say here. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. You know, we're coming up on the very end of the first half of twenty. Technically, technically, the year half the year half a year would be uh, well, this year would be July third because it's a leap year, so we have a 366 day. So July third would technically be halfway through 2024. Which, huh, I guess I should probably do something special on that day, shouldn't I? I'll have to think about that. But for now, you certainly can't beat this view. And of course it never gets, you know, it, I may not be able to see, but I'm sure it looks really cool on camera right now. The sun just beaming in my eyes. So I hope you like this video. If you didn't like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I am very humble to me this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy for today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday. Happy Pride Month. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed my uh, sick towel. I'll probably wear it again. Just, you know, it would make sense to wear it during the month of June. And remember, if you guys want to talk to me, I'll be here to lend your back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.